In this video, I'm going to be making smelling salts. These are smelling salts. They're often used by bodybuilders to let them lift more weight, and they've been showing more popularity online recently because of their effect on normal sized people. So in this video, I'm going to be using my knowledge in chemistry to make them here in my garage, and hopefully I'll have a good reaction to them. To start off, what I'll need is sodium bicarbonate, or more commonly known as baking soda, and I'll also need ammonium nitrate, which can be found in America as cold packs, and if you don't live in America, you probably can't find it because of its use in explosives. This can be demonstrated by blasting it with a torch, and this releases nitrous oxide in water, which when confined can be very bad news. So if you don't live in America, too bad so sad, you should have enslaved and killed off the natives in your land so you could get the freedom to have AK-47s as a method of self-defense. First, I weigh out 80 grams of ammonium nitrate and another 80 grams of sodium bicarbonate. I add both of these chemicals into a round bottom flask alongside about 120 milliliters of water, and I crank up the heat. This should boil out ammonium bicarbonate, which I can collect by attaching one end of a rubber tube to the flask, and the other end I put in a chilled test tube, and after about 30 minutes, literally nothing happened. Plan 2. For my second attempt, I add an arbitrary amount of hydrochloric acid to a round bottom flask, turn on my hot plate to boil off hydrogen chloride gas from the hydrochloric acid, and bubble the gas that's boiled off into 100 milliliters of ammonium hydroxide solution. This hopefully will form ammonium chloride, and honestly, the whole procedure I made up, so I hope that I just discovered an ammonium chloride glitch that the devs didn't patch. After about two hours of this, I transfer the solution of hopefully ammonium chloride into a beaker, and I set it up on my hot plate for a recrystallization. While this happens, I transfer the hydrochloric acid from my flask to a beaker, and I edge it with sodium bicarbonate. The final step of making ammonium chloride is to boil off the water and crystallize out the ammonium chloride. And surprise surprise, it actually worked, so I filter out the crystals to reveal that I only recovered a very small amount, but then I realized if I spread the crystals out like this, it measures out at about 2 inches, and let's be honest, 2 inches is a lot, like most people would be completely satisfied with it. Yeah, yeah, I, I made a lot more. Okay, now to making the actual smelling salts. For this step, I need sodium carbonate, and you may be thinking, well, that's just baking soda. No, my friend. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Here's the difference. Sodium bicarbonate, it's bisexual. So to get sodium carbonate, I need to boil the gay out of it. After I do this, I have sodium carbonate, and to carry on, I add about a gram of sodium carbonate to an equal amount of ammonium chloride, along with a smidgen of water to a test tube that's slightly closed by resting a stopper on top and cooled with wet paper towels. So at this point, what I need to do is heat the mixture gently in a water bath until crystals deposit on the cooled part of the test tube. And this should be my ammonium carbonate. Alright, so these are the smelling salts. I, I guess here goes nothing. They're not that bad. They're they're not they're not that bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different than what I usually do, and if you like it, then tell me, and if you don't like it, then don't tell me because that's gonna give the YouTube video poor performance. But I guess without further ado. Thanks for watching.